Hey, what's up, everyone? Here's Gore's Month of Horror, number 18. This is going to be my last review of the horror season. And this time, I'm going to review Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, uh, a very highly anticipated DLC for, obviously, Red Dead Redemption. So let's get straight on to a review with the story of Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Okay, now, the story in Red Dead Redemption to Undead Nightmare is... a uh, Pretty good overall. I mean, it's not as good as Red Dead Redemption single player, mostly because that went on for about 20 hours and it introduced us to so many different characters and it actually stuck with those characters for a little while. This is only about a five to six hour campaign, maybe a little longer, and it doesn't stick with many characters. I mean, it does give you little cameos of them, but it doesn't really stick with them that much. Obviously, the whole time you'll be with John Marston, but still, it doesn't stick with all those characters. Let me explain what the story is. It's obvious what it is, but anyway. John Marston, who is obviously the main character in the whole Red Dead Redemption uh, single player, and he's pretty much uh, just hanging around with his uh, family, uh, you know, hanging around, eating dinner, about to go to sleep, and their family friend, Uncle, who isn't really his uncle, but anyway, Uncle comes home, and he looks a little weird, I don't know, we don't know what happened to him, we all know what happened to him, but they don't know what happened to him, and uh Uncle goes crazy, bites Abigail, who is John Marston's wife, and then his son Jack, and they turn into zombies. Now, John Marston's quest is to go and find a cure for whatever this is. They don't know what it is. We all know they're zombies. But he goes and meets other characters that he met before, and he's trying to figure out what happened and how he can cure it. So, yeah. Let's go into the sound. I mean, oh, let me talk about if I liked it. I really like the story, blah, blah, blah. And let's go on to the sound. Okay, now, the sound in Red Dead Redemption, the Undead Nightmare, is fantastic, mostly because of the voice acting because they get the original voice actors and many more too because you have a lot of cameos from the originals and you also got a whole bunch of different like survivors and uh, other characters in the game which is really really cool uh, so the voice acting is fantastic. So is the sound effects. The sound effects, the world sounds really creepy and atmospheric, and all the zombies sound really, really good, or the undead, like they call them. So overall, I really like the sound. Let's go on to the graphics of Red Dead Redemption, The Undead Nightmare. Okay, now the graphics in the Undead Nightmare DLC is really good, just as good as Red Dead Redemption's single-player campaign graphics. Uh, they're mostly the same. I mean, you you get some cool little different environments. I mean, there's the same environments, but they look different because it's all misty and foggy, and there's zombies running around, people are dying left and right, and it... It, it, for some reason, it makes the environments look much different. The character models are just as fantastic as they were in single player. Every single character model, even the ones that aren't important, like just regular civilians you uh, come in contact with, look really good. Uh, the zombies are the new uh, character models, and they look really good. Uh, you can shoot their heads off, which is a new thing in Red Dead Redemption. There wasn't that much gore in, uh, in Blood and Gore in... Red Dead Redemption, and that's a cool added feature. A lot of freaking blood in this. You can shoot their heads off. I don't think you can shoot their arms off and stuff, but you can definitely shoot their heads off. Uh, a lot of zombie action and a lot of really cool uh, special effects with the zombies. Some of them spit out acid and stuff. Some of them just, like, fog up, it looks like, a little bit. And some of them are just, they're disgusting. So, I mean, it works. The zombies look great, or the undead, like they call them in Red Dead Redemption. So, yeah. Anyway... The graphics are fantastic. So let's go on to the gameplay. Okay, now the gameplay in Red Dead Redemption Done Dead Nightmare is the same old kind of shooting from Red Dead Redemption, except this time, obviously, you get some zombies. And that's completely different, because when you have zombies, that means you can't use the cover system in uh, Red Dead Redemption, mostly because it's... I mean, you can use it, but it's not going to be effective. I mean, the zombies just run up at you, so really you have to use different different tactics, like uh, running up on somewhere they can't get to, like uh, a house or something, and it, it's really, really uh, strategic sometimes, and it's really, really cool in that way. You get a bunch of different weapons, like holy water and a torch, which is really, really cool. You get a blunderbuss, which is badass. Uh, you get, uh, you obviously get the old kind of weapons like dynamite and a, a rifle and a pistol and shotguns, all that kind of stuff, but obviously it's a little different because in that you would aim anywhere because they're just regular pe people. In this one, you always have to shoot for the head. If you don't shoot for the head, then you're wasting ammo, which is very scarce in this DLC, and really, you don't want to do that because, like I said, it's scarce, and there's not many other weapons out there that you can use to kill these zombies except the torch, and that's really, ooh, that's really hard to kill them all with a torch, let me say that. You also get a whole bunch of different horses uh, from the 
Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. You get war, you get famine, you get death, and you get pestilence, which is really cool. They all have different special features with them, like war can burn enemies, pestilence can run fast, and stuff like that stuff. Death can explode zombies' heads when they pass by, and it's really cool that they added that kind of stuff. You also get uh, zombie cougars, zombie bears, a whole bunch of zombie animals. You also get some mythological animals like a Sasquatch and a unicorn, <laughs> which is hilarious. Come on, a unicorn in... A Western game, that's that's genius. Besides gang hideouts in this, you actually get graveyards, which is pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, gang hideouts, you cleared a whole bunch of enemies out. This one, you clear a whole bunch of enemies out, except the enemies are zombies, obviously, which is really cool, and it's a lot of fun to do those. You can also save survivors by going to each town and pretty much clearing all the zombies out of there, so it'll be safe for you and all those survivors to stay there. And you go save there also, which is cool. You, know, you can do a lot of saving. You can save people, and you can save your progress in the game, which is really cool. And besides bounty hunter missions, you actually get missing people missions, which is obvious what it is. You just go search for survivors out there that are somewhat getting attacked or something, and you bring them back to a safe zone so they can be safe. Yeah, so that replaces bounty hunter missions, and those are really fun too. You know, let me just say right here, this whole game, this whole DLC, $10 DLC, is so much fun for single player, but that's not all you get. You get even more. You get more than a 5 to 6, maybe even a 7 hour campaign, which you can go back and play even more. You actually get more multiplayer modes. You get two new multiplayer modes, which both of them, I haven't played one of them. I haven't played Land Grab, but I have played uh, Undead Overrun. And that one is so much fun. Undead Overrun is pretty much a zombie uh, horde mode, let's say. And it's a lot of fun. You just hold your place, try to survive as long as you can, and it's a lot of fun. Land Grab, I haven't played yet, but I heard it's pretty much like uh, you have to hold your position as long as you can and keep enemies away from it. That's what I'm thinking it is. I didn't hear that's what it is, but that's what I'm thinking it is. So, you know what? Overall, I love this DLC. It's definitely one of my favorites, and... I can't think of anything wrong with it besides maybe sometimes it gets a little repetitive with the horse riding because you don't get a, uh, a campfire in this, so you can't just uh, fast travel to each one. You actually have to ride to each one, and that could get a little annoying, but that's all I can think of. Overall, I love this DLC. Uh, check the description for the written review, and yeah, thank you and goodbye.